It used to be thought that the genes and genomes are given once and for all and then it's like a, like a divine lottery and according to the genes you receive then that's your destiny. And of course it's not, not like that. People already have said well the environment matters a great deal. Except that you know yes they pay obeisance to the environment but they still say after all it is down to your genes, isn't it? So that was really like part of the folklore, uh, part of the myth, um, because it happens to be very convenient for the ruling classes that it is so. By birth, you have a right to rule, and therefore, you know, you've got good genes, and therefore, you shouldn't be ruling all the time, and people who have got nothing they only got their bad genes to blame. So this was all very good for the status quo. And you see, unfortunately, if you take the scientific evidence seriously, ever since the mid-1970s, it all started to go wrong, to unravel as it were. And ironically, that's when genetic engineering began, because after decades of DNA research, you know, they, they pinned down the genetic material its DNA and therefore they think by manipulating this by chopping and changing the DNA making new combinations and then putting it into new organisms into say a maize plant or maybe a pig or anything you can create new organisms to serve our every need so that was really the uh, ideology behind it that because the genes govern everything then in order to, you know, you can just change the genes, the genetic makeup and of, of any organism and then presto you're going to have a new kind of organism that will maybe be uh, resistant to insects, maybe you can apply herbicides, tolerant to herbicides, you, you can then um, apply herbicides and kill of everything and that's your problem solved. And unfortunately, starting in the mid-1970s, geneticists found that not only are the functions of the genes changed in relation to the environment, but also the structure of the genes themselves could be changed. The DNA sequence, you know, the sequence of bases that is supposed to determine which gene it is, that can change too in response to the environment. And starting in the mid-1970s, they were just bowled over. There was every week there was something new reported in the, in the scientific literature that turned the whole world of genetics upside down. And, and by the 1980s, early 1980s, they already invented the term the fluid genome in order to try and encapsulate this masses of findings that said, you know, the genes aren't actually given once and for all. My God, they actually respond in substantial ways to the environment. And then if you really follow that uh, whole logic through, you realize that there is no way that just because you have good genes, they pretend, you know, you can be resistant to everything, you can you can just uh, pollute your environment with impunity and your genes will protect you. Well, it isn't like that. 